What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Series 11 in Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a Life Orb Dialga team that also features Gigantamax Blastoids. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I was recently just checking my analytics and about 50% of my viewers, yes, almost half of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's you, Get the subscribing, get the subscribing to the channel. I know this isn't your first time watching me, so really consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Clover Bells. Clover Bells, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. If you guys don't know who Clover Bells is, he's another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So I will be leaving all of his information and his YouTube channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. But that leads me to say, if you guys want to leave me Series 11 rental codes, leave them in my Instagram DMs. My name is right below my face cam, and there is a link to my Instagram page down in the description below i try to get back to everybody and i try to use most of the fans teams on youtube channel or youtube videos i should say but getting started with this team we got dialga in that top of the corner this pokemon is super super fun to use and i think he's really good all around especially in this series that he can out dynamax usually i like the one with weakness policy but life orb is such a good item on any pokemon cannot wait to try it out with him Telepathy has this ability, Life Orb has this item, and then this moveset of Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Thunderbolt, and Trick Room. I would really like to have a Dragon move on him, but I think it's all good. I think we're thriving here anyway. Right next to him is one of my favorite Pokemon to use in all VGC, and that is going to be Screen's Grimstorm. I don't know why, ever since I started playing in Pokemon Sword and Shield, every time I use this Pokemon, I just have a good set of battles, and I rock out with them. He has Prankster, the Light Clay, so our screens last longer, and then we got Light Screen, Reflect, Scary Face for Speed Control, and Spirit Break for Stab Moves and Special Attack drop middle left we got the one and only landers with intimidate and that lumber he's a great pokemon in the series because he's very very strong when dynamax he's got earthquake for stab fly for stab rock slide for coverage and sword stance to set up so if we can set up a sword stance we can eventually go into a dynamax you know use some max air streams give speed boost to the squad and go from there also he pairs really, really well with this dialga because the dialga's ability telepathy will not allow it to get hit by earthquake so if we're in the battle with both of them on the field, I can just go into free earthquakes without touching my Dialga at all. Right next to him is going to be the second Intimidate on the Pokemon for this team, and that is going to be Incineroar. Pretty normal setup for this guy. He's got the Intimidate as his ability, like I said, Safety Goggles as his item, and then Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Snarl. I really do like this Incineroar setup here with Snarl on it, because it just has a lot more control on the battle. You have the Intimidate, you drop Physical Attack, and then you have the option to go into Snarl or Fake Out or just hit with Parting Shot or Flare Blitz in order to control the battle and control attack drops all around. Bottom left corner is going to be a great support mod for the squad, the one and only Pokeball Mushroom Amoongus. Regenerator ability, Focus Ash as an item, then we got Rage Powder, Spore, Pollen Puff to heal up Pokemon, and Protect. Really good moveset here, and it's really going to help us set up with either the Sword Sands on the landers, or set up our Shell Smash with our final Pokemon, which is Blastoids over here. Blastoids has that Torrent ability, and then that White Herb, so when we set up Shell Smash, all of our stat decreases will just be cancelled out, and we will be left with just stat boost. This thing also has Water Stout, Water Spout, bleh, for Stab over here, Ice Beam for coverage, Shell Smash to set up, like I said, and Protect as its final move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Series 11 Dialga and Gigantamax Blastoids team. We got some trouble on our hands for battle number one, going up against a very, very strong Groudon team that also features G-Max Charizard and G-Max Venusaur. He also has the Regilecki, the Groudon, like I said, to set the drought, and then Intimidate Incineroar and Support Mon with Sableye. Okay. I'm trying to think, like, how do I play this one? This one's super, super tough. I kind of want to get Incineroar out here, because Incineroar can be great, especially with uh, Snarl, with all these special attackers. So I am going to go Incineroar. I think I might start setting up screens. I think screens could be very, very good for us. Um, hmm, what other <laughs> Pokemon should I bring? Blastoids could be good, but I see him bringing in that Venusaur. Blastoids could be good. Definitely want to bring Dialga, and uh, do I say Blastoids, you're out of the situation here? And go into Lando. Lando could be strong. Lando could be good. And I am going to do that. I'm going to say Blastoids. You're riding the pine on this one. Take the bench. We're going to bring in Landorus on this one. But dude, this one's going to be tough. So we might just get like absolutely murked in battle number one. But if you guys have been keeping up with my Series 11 content, we are sitting at 11 and 1 in recordings for Series 11. So hopefully we can keep that strong streak going and get ourselves a win here. But yo, I put random music on. Whose music is this? It's a jam. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, 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 <laughs> you go save Lie alongside with Incineroar, which I'm cool with. 
I'm cool with that. We're gonna go Incineroar and Grimmy Grim. Set up some screens. Maybe parting shot out. Uh, what is that? Uh, what's that Sableye doing? Taking my items? Is that Sableye gonna take my items? I don't see that coming, right? I don't see him snatching up all my items. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Uh, why does this sound like a Mario Kart song, dude? <laughs> it sounds like I'm on like, on like a Mario circuit or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna fake out here. I didn't even see whose intimidate came out first, which is rough. I could spirit break, could set up a reflect. I'm going to spirit break over on Sableye. He might take my item, so let's just see how this one plays out here. He does have double fake out user. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, I'm so intrigued in this music. Music's just a jam. He's gonna withdraw the Sableye turn. We're going to a special attacker, please. It's gonna be a physical attacker. So I'll set up a reflect next turn. He's gonna set a little bit of heat. And he might be going into a flare blitz, but we're faking him out here. We are faking him out here. So I should set up a reflect next turn. And I might just hard swap into landers. Falling like a blade's coming through. Three break on a fly. Chip away some damage onto Kyogre. Well, not Kyogre. On the ground on. We get a nice lovely little special attack drop, which is going to do absolutely. So with this going on here, he is probably going to drop a blades, which makes me want to do this. Right? Dodge the blade, set up a reflect. Let's do it. And then I can slow him down and go into a Dynamax Landers if I want to. Let's do this. Go, ahead. go for your blades, dude. Go for your blades. Let's get Orlando out here. Show me your, your popping blades. I could see a Flare Blitz coming into uh, Grim Snarl. Let's see this dude's play. Hopefully he's not parting shotting here. Reflect is out and about. He does have Intimidate on its Cinnawar. So I guess it's already looking like a good battle. And there's the blades. There's the blade, so Gene's starting off this video with a nice little read here. Uh, Grimstone should be able to soak it up. Yep, all day soak skis. And a parking shot, go on Grimstone. Go on Grimstone. Mmm, mmm. We don't like that. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that. Ah, I hate that. I hate this game. Their so parting shops. I might just uh, go into a Incineroar. Swap my land out yet again. He's going to go into Sable. Sable Eye, and I think he's going to go into a fire move now onto Landers. So in that case... We swap. And then we just go into a nice little, little spirit break here. Bam, bam, it, da, dan it, da, dan, dan it. Now we have Reflect. We're going to get Intimidate on this Groudon. And I think he is going to go for a Fire move. I really do think he's going to go for a Fire move. I don't know why. I just have a feeling about it. And our Dynamax Pokemon might be this Tiago, considering Incineroar really, really just starts annoying me with my physical attacking. Uh, my physical attacking. What is it called? Ba -ba -ba. A landers. So we're able to soak up all day. We're gonna be able to get a nice little spirit break flying here. And I could see a hard spot from the ground and come out here. A nice lovely spirit break. Doing some nice lovely damage. I could go into yet another one. And he was trying to take my lumberry and give me the lagging tail. Which we're not about that. Oh, it wasn't a jack fly. We weren't even Dynamax. That's good. We get to use that thing's item. He ejects out and we get to see his next Pokemon. If there's a special attacker, we can snarl. Or we can just set up a light screen. Let's just see. Let's just see this dude's play. We know he has Incineroar. His final Pokemon's gotta be Venusaur Charizard. It's gonna be Venusaur here. So, a late screen is a must set up here. And I honestly... Actually, no, he outspeeds me here. Honestly, I could fake out. Oh, I could fake out. Right, Incineroar just came in here, so we are going to fake out. I could, I could see a Dynamax, though. We could see a Dynamax, so in that case, I am just going to go for this part and shot. We are going to be able to eat up blades. I could scary face him, but I'd rather have this light screen out and about. I could scary face next turn. I could see him Dynamaxing right here, right now, right? Or is he going to go for the sleep powders? I probably should just scary face him and went into a flare blitz. Honestly, that is probably the play. He's just going to withdraw Groudon. He's just, he's just going to withdraw the Groudon, which, which I'm cool with. He's going to go into Incineroar. Thinking maybe I'm going for a flare, but and what's he gonna go for here? Is he Dynamaxing or not? Is he Gigantamaxing this Venusaur, or is he not? Let's see his dude's play. He is. He is indeed. He is indeed. He's gonna Gigantamax here. Good call by me for going into this lovely little light screen. I wonder what moves he's rocking. Is he rocking Quake? I can't see him rocking Quake here. I can see him definitely rocking. That. 
The screen is out and about. Beautiful. We set up screens. Yo, <laughs> why is this music such a jam, dude? It's hyping me up. It's going to be in this battle. He's going to ooze, though. And that is probably going to pick up the KO. It does not. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. We love those. We love those. But he is going to get a special attack boost for his missile. Which is great, which is dandy. Partner shot is going to fly. So in this case, now I get out the Lando. Now I get out the Lando, and I can start scary facing, which I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to go into a scary face and then into a, uh, a max airstream. Now that this Incineroar is, well, his Intimidate is out of here. He could guard. But I could go into, I could go into a Quake. I could go into the Quake, which I think I am going to do. Just for sheer fact is this thing can guard. Let me see his other Pokemon. This thing can guard thinking I'm going for the Airstream. But I am just going to scary face this thing. Now this Reflect is out and he is minus one on special attack. So I really do like that. I really do like that. Let's see what he does. Yo, yeah, what, a, what a great timing for me. What a great little timing for me. Now we get out our landers. We play a nice lovely party shot. We get off our screens. Our screens are set up. And we are going to start slowing down these Pokemon left and right. So scary face can come out here first turn with the Prankster. Unless he fakes out my Grimstrong, which is an option. But I don't know if he's going to do that. I don't know if he's going to do that. And I'm hoping... Well, we have the Quake going into the Instant Roar just in case he guards here. And he doesn't guard. So we slow him down anyway. Which is big. And he's not going into a fake out. So Quake should be able to pick up the KO. And more importantly... Give our team a special defense boost up against a big special attacker like Venusaur. So, bro, mwah, yo, lovely turn by us. Lovely turn by us. Hopefully, he oh, he could be going for a Vine Lash. I would not like that one. Because then I take time my Grimmsnarl, and I would love to get one more turn with my Grimmsnarl. Just so he doesn't outspeed me. He does go for the Vine Lash. You biscuit, man. That's easy eats, though. That's easy eats all day. So, we soak that up. Um, What's called? It's going to go down here. But I can bring out Incineroar again. I can bring out Incineroar again, which gives me an Intimidate if he goes into Groudon. And I can also fake out on one of the Pokemon. Here, knowing that my Landers does outspeed the Venus. Knowing that. That's huge. We'd love to see it. We love it. So Incineroar can come out here. We didn't even show off the Alga yet. This is a great first battle. Yo. This is a lovely first battle. This is a lovely first battle. Yo. I love Landers in, in Dynamax series. Really, really good. Really, really good Pokemon. His moveset is so versatile. You get the special defense boost with the Quake, alongside with the. Uh, oh, you're gonna go into you. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna? You have ally switch. I'm really curious what you what you're gonna do here. And I think uh, I'm thinking of just going into. Hmm. What do I, <laughs> what do I do? Here? I definitely want to go into an airstream. I definitely want to start taking speed. And if he ally switches, he ally switches. We're gonna go into this slot. I might just snarl, or you know what? I'm going to go here, just in case he ally switches. We're going to go into here. See what it does here. I'm going to will us Guess what? Well, guess what? Guess what? Your boy's rocking Lumberry. Give me that berry, baby. Now your Sableye's out of the battle. Get him out my face. Airstream is going to fire. Oh, this thing's really rocking that berry. What is that berry even called? The Koba berry? You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. But we are going to get speed, which is great, which is dandy. Sableye is going to go down here to this Flare Blitz. And now it turns into a 2v2 situation with his Dynamax out the picture. You love to see it. You love to see it. So we basically outplayed this guy so, so hard. Forced him to Dynamax at Venusaur. And once he did, we jumped right on that, setting up a light screen, making my Incineroar eat up a shot, and then going into a parting shot. Basically just taking out this Venusaur completely, which was just huge. Which was just huge. He is going to go for the Max Quake. Good thing my what's called is special attacking. Or no, he's not special attacking. Good thing my Landers is physical attacking, so the special defense boost doesn't really benefit him too, too much here. But uh, he can't even kill my Incineroar with the Max Quake. That's just lovely. Vine Lash is chipping away, doing a lot of damage. And again, we have speed. We have a lot of speed here. We have a lot of speed here. The Groudon is going to be his final Pokemon. And I think I'm just going to Airstream again into the Venusaur slot because A, his Dynamax is over. If he protects, we still get the speed boost. Which is really, really good for us. And then we just go into, I think, a Flare Blitz on, over on the ground on. I really do think that's play, right? I can see him protecting, though. But I still really, really like going into here. Actually, we could swap size. We could go into... Yeah, let's swap that. Let's swap that all day. Let's go into an Airstream over on the Kyogre. 
Because we can do more damage there and then just flare butts it over. I'm liking that. I'm liking that turn a lot. I'm liking that a lot. Yo, we're playing super smart, yo. We're playing. Mwah, we're playing beautiful, baby. Playing beautiful. Okay, so he doesn't. He does not go into any protect. So our airstream is going to pop on that side. Giving us a speed boost. Incineroar should be able to add speed. Take out Venusaur, no problem here. And that's pretty much GG's. That pretty much solidifies the battle as we have Landorus. Oh, this thing's eating up a berry, man. This thing's eating up his little citrus berry. It's all good. It's all good. Let's we have Landorus who's going to be able to hit that ground on next turn. And we still have the Alga in the back end. Which the Alga should be totally fine just 1v1ing this ground on. But we're probably not even going to use the ground on. Or not the ground on. We're probably not even going to use the Alga. Unless he goes for blades here. No, he just goes for rock slide. I'm cool with that, yo. That's easy eats. So the Alga's gonna come out here. I can freely go into EQs due to its ability. Which is just which is just lovely. And then uh what do I do with the Alga? What do I do with the Alga? Because Blades could do a lot of damage to me. Blades can do a lot of damage to me. I wish I did have protect. But we still have reflect, don't we? Don't we still have reflect? And I know there's no shot of him going into blades. There's no way this thing goes into blades, right? Because we just go into EQ here. And then just drop a flash cannon. I don't think this thing goes into blades. He might just pick up the KO onto the Dialga. The EQ's gonna fly through here. Telepathy coming in clutch. Love this ability. Love that ability. EQ's gonna be able to hit him up pretty hard here. Chipping him away. And we'll see what he goes into. Flash cannon. Oh, we ate Dialga already outspeeds him. That's lovely. I didn't think that was gonna happen. And Dialga comes in here in the back end to pick up the final KO and grab ourselves a win in battle number one. Yo, what a battle to get this video started. Now we can hop into our second, try to show off Gigantamax Blastoids, and look to go back to back. What is this, yo? What is this? Another Groudon Charizard Venus routine. Basically the same squad, just Regilecki is swapped out with Sableye. That is so annoying. I really want to show off Gigantamax Blastoids. We might still try to do this. I think we might still try to go into this. But he's definitely bringing Venusaur, which is which I don't like. Which I don't like one bit. But we're going to try it. We're going to go Amoongus in a blast. So he's trying to get that rolling here. I could go Incineroar as a lead. Incineroar as a lead can be pretty solid here. But if I can get off a Shell Smash, that could be great. That could be good news for us. Because I can change up weather with uh, with my Hailstorm. You'll knock out from there. But I want to go into Incineroar. I think Incineroar is definitely going to be the play here. And then final Pokemon. Did we go the Alga? Or... Grimstar or Orlando. Hmm. Options, options, options. I know Blastoise isn't the really the right call here, but we're gonna try it out. We just showed off us dominating up against a Charizard Groudon team. So if we lose this one, it's really not a big deal. We are sitting 12 and 1 on our record. On our series 11 record, if it's great. So if you guys would keep it up with that, that's awesome. But uh, I can't decide on who my last Pokemon should be here. Um hmm. I really do like I really do like Lando. At the same time, Diago's really good. I'm gonna go with Lando. I am gonna give it to Lando, considering Lando was definitely MVP in that last battle. We did play that one really, really well. We were just like wasting out turns, setting up screens, and waiting for our perfect time to attack. And once our time came, we jumped on it immediately. And it was placed perfectly. It was super perfect. We got the parting shot, we had the light screen, and then we got the Dynamax in while his Incineroar was on the field, so Intimidate couldn't affect us. But he's gonna go into Charizard. Alongside with Ground. Okay super tough this is super tough i i see you i see you man um <laughs> i'm gonna shell smash i am gonna do it i am gonna rage powder <clears throat> i'm gonna rage powder even though he might blade if he does do that i'm dynamaxing i'm changing up weather and i'm taking out ground on that is my call Whew. take a breath here let's take a breath here if we can win this one doing it this way we are a blast of god here we are a blast with so god here. But I can definitely see him Dynamax and Charizard like right here, right now. Going into maybe an overgrowth, which would be cool, because we are rage powdering. And he is gonna withdraw the ground on. So who's gonna go into? Does he bring a Venusaur here? He's gonna bring Grimmy Grim. He's gonna bring Grimmy Grim and he is gonna Dynamax. So this I dig this turn. I do dig this turn. Um I'm hoping he is going into a an overgrowth because a lot of Charizards do rock solar power as a moveset to get the overgrowth. But I'm hoping that is what he's doing, but I can definitely see him going into the G-Max Wildfire and just taking out Amoongus in one turn. But Amoongus is really doing his job right here by going into this Rage Powder and letting us shut up the Shell Smash, and then we can change up weather next turn. And he is going into that Wildfire. We are Sash, but it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything because the Wildfire damage is just going to, you know, whip it off. So with this going on, I do definitely want to set up the 
the hail next turn. And then just get in uh Incineroar here, I guess. Right? Would Incineroar be the call? We get all the stats rolling onto us. I could guard. I could guard and go into a parting shot. I really don't want to guard. I really do want to change up the weather. Hmm. What do I want to do? What, what's the plan? What's the plan? We have the double intimidate factor. La 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 la. What do I do? What do I do? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is a must. Just so I can fake out on that Grim Snarl. And do I hit up on the Charizard or do, or do I hit up on the Grim Snarl? With this Hailstorm. We're definitely dying. We definitely got Dynamax to get this weather out of here. I could go for the, the Candy Nate could be good. But I just think changing the weather is our best bet here. Who do I hit up on? Hmm. Could, we could chip away onto the Charizard. But I am going to hit up on the Grimstarl. Alongside with faking out the Grimstarl. Let's do it. So, our Blastoise is going to be able to outspeed here, which is dandy. Hopefully, some of them do not rock over there. Like, some of them do not rock over there, which is good. I was thinking of just Max Garden here. Maybe could have been our play. Maybe should have been our play. There goes our Dynamax. Hopefully, he Max Guards. That could be really good for us. If he Max Guards, bro, that would be awesome. Let's see his play. He is going to max guard. Yo, let's go. Let's go. So luckily we did change it over to the Grimstarl slot. We change up weather. Now we can just drop a G-Max Canyonade onto that slot. Even if he changes up the weather, that's totally fine. Even if he changes up weather by swapping in the ground, which I can definitely see happening. But yo, big old damage there. And Buffets will eventually take out uh, Grimstarl. Unless he, again, changes up weather. I'm loving it though. Loving it though. So we have speed. Candy needs a must come out now. So I'm definitely going to Candy Nade over onto the Charizard slot in this turn. And do I parting shot here? I think we parting shot onto. Hmm. I definitely want a parting shot though. I definitely, definitely want a parting shot. I say he swaps Grimstar. I'm not even gonna lie. I say he swaps Grimstar. I could go into a Snarl, which could work. But I really, really do think he swaps Grimstar. So do I drop another Hailstorm? I just think getting off this candy need damage is really, big, really big. I'm gonna say he swaps. I'm gonna say he swaps the Grimstarl. I'm just gonna party shot into the Groudon. What I think he's gonna do. This is not he's scary faces me. Hmm. That's tough. That's tough. We don't outspeed anymore. And he is rocking airstream. Okay, we should be able to eat up that airstream all day. Yep. And this should be able to take out uh Charizard, no problem. But I am going to be able to get off a parting shot here. I really did what she was swapping. And Buffett's... Oh, yeah. Grimstar was going to go down anyway. So, I'm, I'm cool with this all day. So, bye-bye, Charizard. Get out my face. For plus two. Canyon A flying through here. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. Blastoids is now better than... Uh, is now better than the Charizard. <laughs> Blastoids is now the best. Takes him out. Yo, let's go. Scary face coming out and about. Uh, parting shot's going to fly here. Get my Lando out here. Get my lovely little Lando out here. We're gonna get ripping. So we have one more turn left in Dynamax. He's probably going to scary face me yet again. And I am going to bring out Lando. Get off Intimidate on whatever Pokemon he wants to throw out here. The Lando's gonna come out here. And I think Intimidate's gonna come out before he swaps. Ooh, that's ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I really don't. So we could we could uh we could guard here. Buffets will take you out. That's cool. Now it comes down to a 2v2. He has to show his final to Pokemon. If they're both physical attacking, I will hard swap with an Intimidate. You know, the Wildfire's chipping. I don't like the Wildfire. Oh, how much damage we're taking. That Scary Face really did us dirty. It really did us dirty because now we're not fastest on the field. So, weather is going to change. He's going to throw a Growl on. Mm. <laughs> we don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Man, I, mean, I definitely have to try to change up weather here. I definitely have to try to change up weather here. What are we going to? I said we just go into Venusaur here. I could fly, I could EQ. I 
This is tough. I'm going to fly. He's going to go for a Giga Drain. That's going to KO me, isn't it? Yep. And he can just protect out now. Dang, dude. That's so tough. That is so tough. We're probably going to lose this battle. We're probably going to lose this battle. Our Intimidate Pokemon is going to have to come out here. He does have, like... He does have Spore and everything. It's really tough. What's Lando going for? So well, not Lando. What's Groudon going for? And, of course, he goes for Sword Dance. Now this thing is set up. He really is set up. And can any damage is slowly chipping away. So that's really good. But the weather stinks, man. I hate this weather. <laughs> I hate the weather wars. We were looking good, but then he brought out this thing. He brought out the Venusaur, man. Not the Venusaur. Okay, so we bring out this thing. We do get an Intimidate to actually get a little attack drop on that thing. And I think we have to fake that thing out, even though I think he's going to protect the Venusaur. Even though I think he's going to protect the Venusaur. We still have to fake out onto the... Onto the ground on slot. So let's do it. Fake out onto you, and... He's going to protect that Venusaur. Hopefully he doesn't. But if he doesn't, we could potentially KO here. He does not. He does not. Earth Power is going to fly. Can we eat that? You eat that, baby. All day. All day, yo. Take out this Venusaur, please. Take out this Venusaur. It's against the Cobra Berry, man. Why is every single Venusaur rocking the Cobra Berry, man? Why is every single Venusaur doing that? Yo, the, da the Kenny need damage could take out here. Do it. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. Yo, Blastoids from his grave still taking out Venusaur. He's the best Canto starter. He's the best. Yo, he's thriving. He can't go in. Blades will not affect my Lando, which is huge. I could drop an EQ. I really want to. We are going to drop a Flare Blitz here, and I am going to drop a Fly. What about EQ? Questions, questions, questions. I am going to Fly. This is tough. This is tough. Please don't be bleeding. He bleeds. Miss. Miss my Incineroar. Okay, okay, so Incineroar is dead. 100%. We need Lando to KO here. We need Lando to KO here. And Nate is chipping. Brings it down past half. He has Citra. Yo, they're all rocking the same items. They are all using the same items. That's so tough. We're probably going to lose this one. We're probably going to lose this one. Unless we can eat up a shot here. Unless we can eat up a shot. Let's make it happen. Or we can get a crit. Or Lando could just be that powerful. Mmm. Tough news. Fly comes through. Yo, send it. We need to eat up. We need to eat up this rock slide. Oh, we might be able to. Rock slide's not sad. Very quiet. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, Lando. Make it happen right here. 2 0. Ah! No way. No way you went to a free focus hash, bro. I was so getting ready to celebrate. No way. What you mean? This game's trash. This game stinks. How do we lose that last battle to a free focus ash? Like, what you mean? He legit survived on one HP. We outplayed him that whole time. We changed up weather with our G Max Blastoise. We KO'd his Charizard with our Blastoise and his Venusaur. And he legit just won on a free focus ash. That is crazy. Get out my face. We're not dealing with that. But, dude, we're going up against another Groudon Drought team. Like, come on. Like, it's getting old. It's getting old. This is three times in a row for this battle or for this video, which is nuts. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win here, grab ourselves a winner record. If not, it is all good. It is no big deal. But I really want to show off Blastoids again. I really do want to show off Blastoids again. But at the same time, I'm just like, mm, that might not be the play. That might not be the play. But he can change up weather, which is huge. Which is really, really big. I, I, I am going to try to do this. I'm going to go in with them, too. I'm going to bring Instant War. And then final Pokemon, I am liking the Lando. I'm liking the Landers. Hopefully, he doesn't lead the uh, Incineroar or Regilecki. Because Incineroar will take off our, what's it called? Incineroar will take off our White Herb from its Intimidate. And Venusaur is tough. Dude, this team is just really, really tough. I'm surprised we actually almost won that last battle. But hopefully we can come in here and grab ourselves that winning record. Dude, we should already have a winning record, which is whack. Like, dude, that is so stupid. We legit outplayed him so hard. We really did. We really did. But let's try to get ourselves this one here. Let's see who he's going to lead. But it's crazy how it's just three of these teams in a row. And he leads it Incineroar. God dang it, man. There goes my White Herb. 
my white herb is gone. He can go for blades. He can do all that stuff. Um, what do I go from here? I might protect. Do we think he fakes out my Amoogus? I might just protect my Blastoids. I think I'm gonna protect Blastoids and go for a Spore. If I can get off a Spore, that could be us. But dude, White Herb is gone, and I really like my White Herb. I really do like my White Herb. We're gonna go for a Protect. I think I might try to go for a Spore here. It'd be really beneficial for us. We're protecting, and we're going for a Spore. We Spore up on Groudon. Let's see what this dude's gonna do. Let's see his dude's play. Hopefully he goes for the Fake Out onto the Blastoids. It'll just be big all around, or maybe he thinks I'm just going for a Dynamax. Hmm. Let's see. Really, I would really, really like, really like for at least like the Incineroar to go in here. We know he's probably going for Blades, right? I had to guess he's going for a Blade. I mean the Fake Out going in the Blastoids. He goes for a Fake Out. Mmm. Alto Amoogus. And he's probably going for the Blades, right? He Swords Dances. Yo, what you mean? I think Swords Dance sets up. Okay. Uh, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Do I Dynamax? Do I try to get rid of him? Could try to get rid of him here. I think I am going to go for a Hailstorm here. And do I Palm Puff? Do I could Spore? Or I could Rage Powder. What's my plan? I'm going to go for a Spore. If I could Spore on this thing, that could be, that could be big for us. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. It's just such a tough matchup. It really is such a tough matchup. So we're Dynamax here. We're gonna have to Dynamax here. Should've went for the Shell Smash. Should've went for the Shell Smash. Should've went for it, man. We missed our opportunity. We definitely missed our opportunity. He faked out the right Pokemon. He was reading either Dynamax or Protect from us. Which was a great call by him. Now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting here. God dang it, man. Is he Dynamax as well? He's not. He's just gonna go straight for Blades. Which Amoongus gets absolutely soaked on by it. Ugh. We don't like that one bit. Hailstorm is going to change with the weather. Maybe pick up KO. I don't think it will be able to. But still deal a decent amount of damage here. Which is lovely. We get the weather change up. And Incineroar, is he going for a pardon shot? I'd be very upset if he did. I would be very, very upset if he did. Be very, I'd be very sad. This thing, of course, is rocking Citrus Berry. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? He's rocking Citrus Berry. And Flareblitz going to fight the rear, which is easy. Easy. Okay, so we're sitting here. He can blade me. We know he can blade me. So, hmm. What do I do from there? What do I do from here? Could bring out the fake out and get out the canyonate, which is probably gonna be my play. Yeah, we're gonna bring out Incineroar, get the intimidate boat off on both these guys, and we are going to fake out onto the uh, what's it called slot, the ground on slot. And I am gonna go straight into a G Max canyonate here, into the Incineroar slot. So I can see the ground I'm protecting. I think he might be trying to keep his ground on So I am just going to take out the Incineroar, do a lot of damage over on him, and then just fake out on the... Just because I think Groudon is going to protect. But let's see. Let's see this dude's play. Make a move, dude. This one, ah, it's going to be tough for us. Groudon does protect, so good call by us. Incineroar is going to take a heavy little G-Max Canyonade here, which is just dandy. Fake out's going to get blocked, and then we might have to Max Guard next turn. I might Max Guard and swap into my Lando next turn. And just have this vortex damage to start to team off onto this ground on. There's a huge KO for us. Onto the Incineroar. That's big. So we know he's going for Blades. We know he's going for that Blades next turn. So if I can max guard here. Right? If I can max guard, because yo, I think a vortex next turn will be able to take it out. If I can max guard and swap into Lando, that can completely dodge the uh That can completely dodge the blade. And then we can slowly chip away all into this ground. Yo, this one, this one gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough because he still has Dynamax left. He still has Dynamax left, and he is gonna bring out Regilecki here. It's tough, so it's a must to max guard here. It's a must max guard, and it is an absolute must to swap into Landers. Let's do it. Let's do it. It will actually give him another Intimidate, which could be really, really good for me. And then maybe I can take out the Regilecki next turn by just going into an EQ. And he might Dynamax him. I can definitely see a Dynamax in the throw. And I actually hope he does Dynamax this turn. I honestly hope he Dynamaxes this Red Selecky this turn. But he's probably not. He's probably not going to because his last Pokemon is going to either be that Charizard or that Venusaur, which he wants to save his Dynamax for. So Intimidate's popping. We getting it out here. Show me the Blades. I don't think any of his moves will work here. Any of his moves won't do anything. Electric won't affect me. Blades won't affect me. He Bolt Switches. We block it up all day. And show me the Blades. Show me the Blades. Yes, sir. Yo, great call by me. So we get off that swap. I think Radon should go down here to the Buffets alongside with the, uh, the Vortex damage. 
So did my play work out here? Did Jeans' play work out here? Show it to me. Show it to me. Show me the vortex damage takes him out. Not you. We need Groudon that. This might not take him out. Is he going? Are we gonna see another free focus dash from Groudon? This game hates me. Like this game just just hates me. It just doesn't like me at all. It just does not like me at all. <laughs> I swear, yo, this game just doesn't like me at all. I could fly into bout, but it's just like, mmm, that's tough. I'm gonna fly over onto the Vegelikin slot because I think he is gonna bolt switch into the Venusaur. He's gonna swap the ground on. Do it, man. And he's gonna bolt switch out. That is so tough. That's so tough, man. He's gonna bolt switch out. Though at least Groudon will go down here, but he is going to have. He is going to have that uh that weather. That is so whack, man. Dude, the Groudon should be dead. These Groudons with the free focus ashes today need to get out my face. Because I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm not dealing with it. He's gonna win this battle off of just the weather control. Get out of here. Get him out of here. So whack. It is so whack. But we're gonna fly out of here. And we're eventually gonna be able to hit up onto the Reg Lecky, which I thought. You know, never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Solar power is gonna chip away there. We are chipping away some damage with the Vortex there. Vortex. The Vortex is lovely. Finally, we get rid of the Groudon. Lucky son of a biscuit, dude. Two battles in a row. Dude, this is our third time going up against Groudon. Like, yo, get these Groudons out of my face. I'm not dealing with them anymore. We gotta bring out you. Um, I might not even fake out because I think the Regilecki is going to protect here. I think the Regilecki protects, so I am going to party shot. I am just going to do a lovely little party shot onto the Charizard. Or you know what? I'm gonna just Snarl. I think Snarl is our better option instead of party shot. Snarl is definitely a better option. Yeah, we're gonna snarl here. We're not even gonna go for the uh the fake out because I do think Regilecki is going to protect. Let's see. Let's see it. And if he doesn't protect, he's gonna take a fly. He does uh we actually we don't know if he protects yet. We do not know if he protects yet. He's dying in action. Let's get after this guys. Let's get after it. Hopefully he's just going for like an airstream on this door so we can eat that up. Then maybe we can get off a rock side later. We'll see. We shall see how this goes. I'm trying to think, we might have one more turn left in Vortex, which could be very beneficial to us. Imagine like he just goes for a straight T-Bolt here. Smart little cookie, and he, he's going to be able to take out my Zero. Airstream's going to fly through here. That's tough news. That's tough news, man. This dude legit wins to weather, man. He wins to weather, man. Like, dude, that Groudon should be gone. He should be out my face, out of my game. A smart little play by him to actually not go into Protect. Fly's going to come down here. He's going to be able to soak that up all day. And then, I mean, what do we do from here? He's just going to go into Wildfire and finish me off, right? That's some big damage, though. That's some big damage. We do like that damage. Solar power is chipping away. Um, Vortex damage is chipping away. If a Rock Slide can get a crit on the Charizard, then we have a shot at winning this. But I think a Wildfire is just going to take me out, right? Right? A, a Wildfire just takes me out. Hey, that's GG's. That is GG's. Let's go for the ride. We'll go for it, but I think it just takes me out. <laughs> Let's see this dude's play. Let's see a suit's play. Maybe, maybe he messes up. Maybe he clicks the wrong button. Reg Lucky protects. Reg Lucky, you can't do anything. I'm not even worried about you. I'm only worried about this dang Charizard here. And he goes for the wildfire. Eat it up! He's not eating this one up. That's GG. Charizard's too strong. He's way too strong. That's game over, dude. God dang it, man. Focus sashes are the story of today's video. But hey, one and two should have been two and one. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. One last shout out to my main man, Clover Bells, for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. I absolutely loved it. I thought this team was tons of fun. We showed off the Alga in the first battle, and then in that second battle, we definitely should have had a win. I'm still a little upset with that free focus ash, but we got to show off Blastoise to its fullest potential in that battle. And then that third and final battle definitely could have went either way, but I think if that other Groudon didn't get a free focus ash, we would definitely win that battle. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.